Have you ever been curious about an artist's creative process? Join us on a journey inside the artist's studio and mind on Open Studio 5, presented by the Rice Gallery of Fine Art. In this episode, we sit down for a chat with Kansas City artist Jerry Moon as he explores the passage of time through abstract form and color in his series, Monoliths. in society they feed the soul we all struggle for food and clothing and shelter and then after that we get to decorate the space around us you know music decorates time and art decorates space and it telepathically speaks to us you know, the artist focused all this energy and emotion and whatever they were thinking. And it strikes a chord with you. So you buy that piece of art, you hang it up, and every day it speaks to you. You walk by it. It's a little miracle. kind of music do I listen to in my studio? Um, well, I've always loved 80s since the 80s. And so that'll pop up. I'll listen to that. Old Elton John, ELO. Um, the common vein in most of the music I listen to is just, it's soft and it's sad. Sad music makes me happy. Um, I listen to a lot of ambient and non-lyrical stuff just super soft stuff. It's just background noise. If I want to gear it up a little bit, there's some ambient bands that get a little more raucous, believe it or not, but it's almost all soft stuff, soft and sad. What is my one piece of studio gear I could not live without? That's pretty easy, actually. That would have to be my sketchbook. Um, I use this to track every color that I put on my paintings. So it has where I put them, what colors I used. Sometimes I have to match those colors if the painting gets scratched. Um, and they're like little pieces of art in and of themselves. I love the way they look when I've gotten a lot of colors on them. Um, like that. Indispensable. I have to have it. Do I get attached to my work? Yes, it is hard to watch it leave the studio a lot of the time. Um, I put so much time and energy and emotion in there. And every once in a while, it comes out great. And I tend to hang on to those. I have a couple of paintings around the house that I have never let get to a gallery. Um, I used to want to do that with everything, but there just comes a point where uh, you have to let them go. They're, they're like little children a little bit. Um, you send them out to the world and you see how they're going to do. But yeah, it's, I get emotionally attached to them. Um, it is hard to let them go, but I do let them go. How do I combat 
fear and inadequacy in my art. I think this plagues all artists and I don't think it has an age limit. Um, when I was younger, I used to worry about it a lot and I tried to make art that I thought everybody would like. As I've gotten older, I've become more confident in my vision of what art should be. And if other people don't like it, then fuck them. They don't have to buy it. But I love what I do. And I think at the base of it, you combat that fear and adequacy with the love of what you do. Thank you.